nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning, guys! We just finished doing our delivery here, our drop and switch. Yeah! We are in Detroit, Michigan right now. That's right. We're going to make our way over to Shelby, Ohio, which is only 158 miles from where we are at right now. And the sucky part is that. Uh, our loading ain't gonna be ready till like five this evening. Slide on 696 service drive. Yeah. So we're probably gonna be sitting there all day long. But that's the way it goes. So let's get down over there and uh, see how bad our pickup is going to be. Alrighty guys, we are already quite a bit outside of Detroit already, but uh, actually we just entered Ohio here a few minutes ago. Oh wow, up there on the river there, uh, to the right there, there's a big boat up there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's Ohio. We are in Ohio. Trucker jukeboxes country. Yeah, actually I'm going up to Shelby, Ohio. He might be, uh, I might have to give him a call and see, uh, why are you keeping, keep saying speed warning? I just saw a sign there saying 60 speed limit. Why are you screaming speed warning at me? That ain't correct. At least according to the sign just back there, it was uh, 60 speed limit up here. But I'm having a fantastic morning. Here in the next few miles, I think I will pull over and uh, yeah, probably go in and get me some breakfast. I don't know for sure if I'll actually go in and have breakfast, but I want to stop there at the Flying J and get me a shower, you know. That way, uh, you know, I got me a shower done. So I guess it's right in the landing here, so we might just have to... See, there is the sign again. There's 60 miles an hour speed limit. My GPS says 55, you know. So we'll put it up a little bit. Might be screaming at me, but I'm just going 60 miles an hour and it's screaming at me. <laughs> speed warning. Yes, yeah, so there you go again. Anyways, uh, I want to get me a shower. I need a shower. So I'm going to be sitting over there in Shelby probably all day long. May as well grab me a shower and see how it goes. I had to get up really early this morning. I got up at 4.30 this morning. Oh, that's early. The sun has just barely come up here a few minutes ago. Just bright enough for me to do a little bit of videoing. I was just uh, watching Trucker Jukebox's uh, show there last night. He had like a life, uh, life he went there last night and I got to see Big Jerry in it a little bit. He didn't say much but yeah he's, uh, he's sick too. And Speed warning. Hope he, uh, he gets well soon as well. I've seen a friend of mine go through cancer. And that's terrible. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Having to go through something like that. Now he's getting chemotherapy there and hopefully... Hopefully they will get him uh, straightened out, you know. Anyways, let's go over to our truck stop and then take care of some business and then we'll uh, we'll see what we will be up to the whole day. It's probably
probably gonna be a short day. I only like got like 86 miles to uh, Shelby, so it's not like I got a full day worth of driving to do. Alrighty, guys, we are done. Not done, but we're at the Fly and Jay over here. We're gonna go inside and take a shower. And uh, shit, I forgot to bring my wallet. Let me go get my wallet, and then we'll. Uh, have some breakfast when we're done having a shower. Alrighty guys, it is time for some good breakfast. So let's have a look. We got steak and eggs and a good cup of coffee. Had a nice shower. So let's get to uh, good eating. Well, here we go guys. Let's get out of this flying J. Yeah. This is not a very big flying J, but I guess big enough because we got that big uh, petrol across the street, literally, across the interstate. There's that humongous petrol where I was at the other day, and I think Paul was making fun of it, <laughs> saying there was so much parking in there that. <laughs> I had a hard time choosing which parking spot I wanted, you know? And that's literally just across the street from this Flying J, but... Because I feel at the Flying J, most of the days, most most of the times I feel at the Flying J, the uh, Flying J has got a pretty good uh, feel. Uh, if you fuel up for uh, 500 gallons or more a month, get a free shower every day so that's why I go here I didn't feel up here today but I still got me a shower I really did man this stretch of highway here is Can terrible turn left on Benson Road but anyways that's the reason why I went over here and and they do have fairly good uh, breakfast too like that steak and eggs is pretty good it really is. So now we got breakfast done. We're gonna go over it's to uh, miles. Take the entrance to the left on I two eighty south. Our pickup location. In seven hundred feet, take the entrance to the left on I two eighty south. Shelby, Ohio. That's where we're going. Yeah! Looks like the sun is finally coming up. It's been pretty cloudy all day long. Here we go, let's get back on the interstate. See, that's where that petrol is that I was telling you guys about. That's exactly where I was at a while back ago. Yeah. We got about 74 miles to go. To Shelby, Ohio. Let's get down over there and see what we will do. Well, guys, we are in Plummet, Ohio. Yep. Really old part of Ohio, it looks like. Yeah, I've been down this road before, but uh, it's been a long time ago. We are on Ohio 61. And we're only about eight miles to uh, Shelby. Shelby, Ohio, yeah actually a very beautiful part of Ohio at least in my opinion yep a lot of old buildings up here I like the older designs of the houses the way they got them designed like this one up here to the right it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous nice big trees here in town that's something I like American flag on that hydro poster. 
Yeah, got a big water tower right here, right downtown. Oh yeah. A rough railway track. <laughs> yep. In 800 feet, keep to the left on Millet Street, OH61. All right, you go ahead and tell them there, RJ. Just tell them, my friend. That's where we're going to be going down on 61. Here, yeah, it started to get cloudy and a little cooler again. Continue on this road for seven miles. Yeah, winter is very close. But nothing we can do about it. One of the guys there the other day said I was uh, getting a little negative the last little while and so we're going to work on that. I'm going to try and be more positive. My channel generally is very positive. I try to stay very positive and so we're going to work on that. If you think that I'm negative? Then we'll work on that. We'll try to be more positive again. And thank you for bringing that up. I appreciate that. Every once in a while I need to be told to. If you guys don't tell me, you know, sometimes you don't realize that you're doing something wrong, you know. And if somebody tells you, well, that gives you an opportunity to fix it. Straighten it out, right? Well, that's what we're going to do. We're going to be more positive from now on. Although every once in a while, I do get frustrated with some stuff too, you know. I get pissed off and sometimes I display that sometimes. And I guess we're going to work on that. Hopefully we can uh, fix that problem. Anyways, we are having a fantastic day. Oh yeah, now we're out of plummet, now we uh, five miles away to Shelby, yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> a lot of people seem to like that so, I say it every once in a while, yes sir Bob I do, sweet morning, oh you just be quiet there RJ, yeah, already guys, this is it. This is Shelby, Ohio. That's right. We are coming into Shelby, Ohio, Ohio. Look at that sign up there. <laughs> I don't know what he's got up there, but it looks like another bad railway track, so we want to slow down here pretty good. Mm -hmm. I don't want to break my truck by going over that railway track too fast, you know. But Shelby is another beautiful little town. In a half mile, yep. turn right on West State Street. Not that much in Shelby except uh, a bunch of uh, factories in here. It really is. We pick up tires over here. Yeah, we deliver tires here all the time too. Yep. So that's uh, right over there is where we're to the right that's where we're going to be picking up but we can't go down that road because that's not truck friendly. So we got to go to this next intersection up here make a right and then go to the next street make a right a little bit down the road that's where it is. In 900 feet See? turn up right on truck West road. State Street and then turn right yep. in 550 feet. That's right. Not much in this little town but not even that many restaurants. Um, used to be a little gas station up here, but looks like they've gone out of business too. I guess they weren't selling enough stuff. This is where my buddy Herb always goes. Yeah, he's uh, picking up uh, loads out of this uh, area up here too. Anyways, let's go over to our pickup and see what kind of info we will get if they will tell us that our load ain't going to be ready till tonight sometime or if they're going to tell us 
Our load is ready. Your lucky day today. Let's see what happens. Alrighty, guys. We are still here in Shelby, Ohio. I uh, finished doing my live show here a little bit earlier, and uh, Tim uh, was watching my uh, live show, and uh, he said he's only like 10 minutes away from Shelby, so. I told him, I said, if he wants to come meet me, that would be great. I would love to. So here he is. Say hi to Tim. Hello. Hey, uh, so uh, so you live around this area, eh? Yeah, Crestline. Crestline, eh? Oh, wow. Let me put this camera up here. Maybe do a little bit of a video. My, and my son drives for Golden Hawk. Golden Hawk? Okay. Flat, flatbed. Flatbed. All right. So, what's new with you? Not much. Just Not much? Board was sitting around the computer. Yeah? So you said you was watching me in the trucker jukebox and jar sometimes, eh? Yeah, about every day. Yeah, about every day? That's good. Always good to have some loyal subscribers <laughs> that watch every day, you know? Because that's what counts for us, right? Get bored, with, get bored with Facebook. So. Oh yeah, yeah, tell me about it. I've, I've told lots of people before, only reason why I have Facebook is uh, because uh, that's where I basically share my videos. That's really, and for people to get in touch with me, that's about it. You know? like, there's too I much just, negativity on there. I just, uh, just opened up uh, Twitter. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, nice. Just playing around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Twitter is, is a little different than Facebook. At least you don't see as much garbage on there, from my opinion, anyways. But uh, yeah, that's basically why I have Facebook, you know. About, about the same way I opened up the Facebook account. Yeah? Just playing around. And yeah. I was looking for somebody, and all the ones that I typed in their, the names for had never lived in there are areas that I mm. was looking for them from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and about about three years later, my kids said, "Well, you got a Facebook account." I didn't even remember. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we uh, we're just gonna continue on chatting away here for a little bit and see what we will be up to. I don't know. Maybe he knows a restaurant close by or something. Maybe. Go for coffee or something. I don't know if you're up to that, but you know anything around here? Not really around no. here, but yeah, over on the other side of town, down on Main Street. Oh, okay. Anyways, we'll uh, we'll catch you guys a little bit later. Alrighty, guys, we finished cleaning the truck, so that's how we look. She's looking pretty good now. Yeah. To the highlighted lamp. Look at that dashboard and all that. That's nice and shiny now, eh? Yeah, that I think looks pretty good. I think it does. And we are still waiting for our load. It's already past five. I walked over there and they said they're gonna come and get me when it's my turn. But that's the way it goes. But we did have a nice uh, visitor come and visit me here, so that was nice, a subscriber of mine, so uh, you'll get to see him. Uh, well, I guess you will see him before I even record this clip, but uh, I actually cleaned my truck after he'd been here, so... Yeah, anyways, I'm done with cleaning now, so I guess we'll go back to the computer and do some stuff over there. Well, guys, it's that time of the day where it's starting to get a little darker outside of there. And look what we're up to. Yeah, we're fixing to cook a stew. So we uh, finally got our trailer there about 6.30. They came and knocked on my door, said that my uh, my load was ready. So uh, now we're cooking some dinner. And we'll go, uh, all right, I guess my light went out over here. So we'll have a good, uh, good dinner. And then we'll go to bed and get up early tomorrow and get out of here. So. Anyways, I figure I'll give you guys a little bit of an update on what's been going on. Yeah. So we'll see you guys a little bit later. Alrighty, guys. We are ready for dinner. That's how a sneak peek. I think she's looking pretty darn good. I think so. 
I think I'm gonna be filling my stomach pretty good. Yeah, I've been telling you guys I've been wanting to eat more in the truck and here we are. I know you guys were probably thinking this morning, well here he goes again eating in a restaurant, right? Well, every once in a while you need a change too, right? Of course you do. I get sick and tired of just eating the same thing all the time, so here we are eating something different every once in a while you know so let's get to eating before this gets cold already guys we are done yes we have had a very good dinner oh i am so full now i certainly am so all that's left to do now close the show and hop in there I guess I gotta take my jacket don't I usually hang it up over here but because I have the oven over there I always take that jacket off of there right but anyways that's all we got left to do is hop in there go to bed and guess what we have to get up tomorrow morning right yeah if we want to go home definitely anyways that's about it for today it's not much of a driving video today probably but uh, we certainly did have a little bit of a show so thank you guys for watching and we will be back tomorrow at 2 a.m central time so if you haven't subscribed we would love to have you on board and you know what you'll get in return you'll get notified whenever i upload a new video plus you'll get some very interesting videos coming up so thanks for watching We'll definitely see you again tomorrow on my channel. Have a good one. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.